Republic's of second grade lesson 34, and we're going to be doing rounding numbers. So it says circle each number and fill in the blank. So number one, circle number 18 on the number line. And then 18 is closer to blank than blank. So let's first circle 18. So on our number line, let's find it. So we circle this, or we can put a dot here. And then from 1 to 20, 18 is closer to 20. So we can write uh, 18 is closer to 20 than 10. Number two, circle 32 on the number line. So 32 is right here, and we can put a dot as well. And then 30 and th 40, so 32 is closer to 30 than to 40. So we can write 32 is closer to 30 than 40. Oops, okay. so number four, circle 51 on the number line. So 51 is right here, we can circle, put a dot. Then it's closer to 50 right here, then to 60, which is all the way over here, so we can write we're doing is closer to 50 than 60. <clears throat> so more rounding. So it says round each number to the nearest 10. So we're going to round it up to this one. So that's our 10 spot. So number one. So first, if the number is 4 or less, that means we round down. And if our number is 5 or more, then we round up. So 6 is 5 or more, so we round up, So which is going to be 30. Right, so we're just adding one to this one. So 19 is five or more, so it's gonna be 20. And then five, or 90, number five, 94, so it's four, this one. So four or less is down. So we're just gonna turn the four into a zero to make it 90. And then 17 is five or more, so we round it up to 20. And then 88 is um, five or above, so we turn it to 90. 65 is 5 or above, so we do it to 70. Number 41, or number 13, 41, so 40. 41 is 4 or less, so we turn it into just a 40. And then 23 is 4 or less, so we turn it to 20. And then 6, this one's tricky because there's no other number here. So instead, because it is, um, it's still 5 or more, so we just round it up and then we just add a 1. And then it's so it just turns it to 10. Uh, let's let's just skip down to number twelve here. So let's do ninety-seven. So ninety-seven is five or, or seven is five or more. So we round it up to one hundred. Fifty-five. So five is five or more. So then we turn it to sixty. Thirty-eight is or the eight right here is five or more. So we turn it into a forty, and then forty-two, or five or more. Sorry for this one. So this one is four or less. So this one turns into forty. Next page, so estimating sums with rounding. So it says round each number to the nearest 10, then add tens. So 22 is closer to 20 or 30. So just like we did on our line here, we can imagine 20 being here and then the 30 being here. And then if we do that, then 22 would be closer to 20. And if we round down as well, we can just do, since it's four or less, we round it to a 20. So this one's gonna be 20. And then is 18 closer to 10 or to 20? This is 5 or more, so we can round it up, which is 20. So now we get 20 plus 20, which equals 40. <clears throat> Number 2 is 54 closer to 50 or 60. So it's 4 or less, so we round down. So now it's going to be 50. And then 34, uh, it's 4 or less again, so then we're going to round down, so it's going to be 30. Now 50 plus 30. We add the 5, that's just basically 5 plus 3, which is 8. And then we just add a 0 at the end. So it's going to be 80 now. Uh, let's skip number 3 and do number 4. So I estimate 65 and 43. So 65 is 5 or more, so we're going to do turn this into a 70. And then 43, so if we round our 4 is, or 43, 3 is 4. So 4 less than, it's less than 4. So then we run down to a 40, and now it's 70 plus 40. And now it's basically just 7 plus 4, which equals 11. So now we do 11, and then just add this 0, so which add a 0, which equals 110. Finally, we're on word problems. So Jen has 20 buttons. Sam gives her 13 buttons. How many does how many buttons does Jen have now? So we do 20, and then he gives her 13 more. So then we want the total of how much Jen has, which means we add. So 
0 plus 3 right here, 0 plus 3 is 3, 2 plus 1 equals 3 as well, so our answer is 33 buttons. Number 2, Bob has 74 stickers, he gives Jessica 38 stickers, how many stickers does Bob have left? So he has 74, and then he gives 38 away to Jessica, so he loses 38. So now how many does he have left? We're going to do subtraction, so we can't... We do 4 minus 8, but we can't do that because 4 is less than 8. So we need to borrow from our 7. So we minus 1 by our 7, turn to a 6, and then add a 10 to our 4, which makes it 14. Now it's 14 minus 8, and then 14 minus 8 equals 6, and then 6 minus 3 equals 3. So we get 36, 36 stickers. Uh, so number 3, Cameron has 45 shells. He finds 26 more shells. How many shells does Cameron have in all? So he has 45, and then finds 26 more, so we add, and then we want to know the total, so 5 plus 6 equals 11, we add the 1 up here, 4 plus 2 equals 6, plus this 1 equals 7, so we get an answer of 71 shells. Number 4, Len has 66 pennies, Chris has 57 pennies, how many more pennies does Len have than Chris? So we want to know how many more, we do subtraction, so now it's 50, or 66 minus 57, 6 minus 7, so 6 is less than 7, so we can't subtract that, so we need to take away 1 from the 6, and it's your 5, add 10 to our 6 now, and now it's 60 minus 7, and then 60 minus 7 is 9, and then 5 minus 5 equals 0, so we just keep it as 9, so Len has 9 more pennies than Chris.